What's going on YouTube? Today is Tuesday. Currently uh, sitting on the wheel since um, I think like 6 a.m. collecting detention pay. It's about 4 p.m. right now. Uh, training is going wonderfully for my student. Uh, he's understanding what to do. He's getting it down pat. Uh, we had to have a little talk uh, last night. He kind of made a small mistake. Uh, came from the mega carriers. And he made just a, just a small mistake, cost Andrew three hundred dollars, and uh, we, we we had to pull him over and talk to him about it. Uh, and it wasn't that big. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't. Uh, if, when you train with Andrew, it's nice and easy. It's laid back. Uh, Andrew don't do no arguing and no cussing, and I ain't got no rules and nothing like that. Like you know, trainers got rules and stuff. I ain't got none of that. Uh, I just, I just, if you come train with me, and you got to make a carrier mindset, you. Got that student time mentality. Andrew's gonna kind of unprimp. You know, we gotta unprogram that out your mind. So, uh, basically, what happened uh, yesterday? We got finished with a load around. It was around 3 p.m. I believe, and uh, me trying to be a trainer. I asked him. I said, "Hey, um, um, how long do you got to rest before you got a first clock?" And he said uh, he'd be ready about. I think he said, uh, what time did he say? I think he said 8 p.m. or something like that. I said, cool, no problem. I go on the truck stop, got me some food. I come back out, look at my phone. I got a missed call from dispatch. Cool, you know, they had just called. So I picked up the phone, called them back. Phone was busy, hung up, called them back. It was busy, hung up. They finally answered. I said, hey, you called? They said, yeah, I was trying to see if y'all was ready for a load, but uh, you didn't answer, so I called your student, and he said y'all won't be ready at 8 o'clock at night. He said, what? I said, uh, yeah, um, yeah, his uh, law book don't know uh, restart at 8 p.m. at night. Uh, can we stay out of load? They said, nah, we'll have some for you later. Hung up. I said, okay, 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 okay. Um, I had to go talk to him right quick. I said, hey, um, did this pass call you? Yeah, yeah, this pass call. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, uh, what did they say? <laughs> oh, they just wanted to know if we wanted to load. And I told them we couldn't take a load until 8 p.m. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Okay. Yeah. Um since 8 a.m. Motherfucker, I got here before him. Hell is wrong with them. You know, fuck how much we get paid for detention. I'm ready to go, goddammit. I already went to sleep. My bed tucked, clothes, put on, coffee. I'm ready to go. See what I'm talking about? Everybody costing me money. Damn it. Anyways, uh, so I asked the trainee. I said, hey, man, uh, you know these loads pay $300, man, to go, you know, two hours worth of, worth of driving. He said, yeah, I know, but uh, I was out of hours. I said, okay, okay, um, okay, uh, I forgot what Mega Carry he came from, uh, J.B. Hunt, that's what it was, came from J.B. Hunt. I said, uh, my man, you, uh, you turned down $300 because of an e-log clock? It's crazy as hell. You turned down $300 because of an e-log clock. Well, I can't move my truck. You turned down $300 because of a goddamn e-log clock? Some shit? Some time? That's You turned down $300 for some time? He had to reprogram his mind. It's not his fault. Just calm down. It's dope. 
Don't need to cry about it. We already lost the money. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, six hundred dollars because it's me and you. Yeah, you turned down six hundred. I said, okay, look, next time this is what you do. Anytime they call, you are ready to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime they call, you ready to go. That way you won't ever mess up again. Let's practice. Ring. Yeah, this, 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 this patch. Are you ready for a load? Yep, ready to go. Yep, so we up there. Yep, ready to go right now. Cool, we'll send it to you. Click. Well, what happens if I'm out of hours? Nothing. You get the load and go to sleep until it's time for you to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on now, man. We ain't got no appointment times. Because see, what's going to happen is 8 o'clock going to come, and you ain't going to get no load. You know when you're going to get a load? You're going to get a load, I don't know, 5 in the morning, 7 in the morning. We got this load at 6 a.m. My fault. We got this load at 4 a.m. I got here at 6 a.m. You know, could have been here... That's a big gap in, in time we lost, you know. But it's not his fault. He, you know, he didn't know. He didn't know. So, uh, he know now. That's part of training, right? That's part of training. We do not deny loads. That's how we get the top amount of money when rolling with Andrew. We don't deny loads, no. Well, what if it's an emergency? There's no emergency out here in the damn sand field, man. If it was an emergency, trust me, you wouldn't know it. They wouldn't be calling you. They, if it was an emergency, they'd call the whole damn company for some sand. You know what it'll look like? The way it wouldn't look like this if it was an emergency. Everybody be over there blowing off right now. An emergency would be like um, the silo is empty. Yeah, that, then it's an emergency. We It'd be so many trucks over there hooked up blowing into that shit. It's just not the case. But um, part of training, you know, you know, so... A small setback. I mean, we still got three hundred dollars on this load. It's just we could have possibly, you know, got here before everybody else started their e-log clock. I see right now what's going on is everybody that started their uh, e-log clock came to the well, and I've been here since six a.m. It's four p.m. and I think I'm being skipped. I'm about to go out there and, and, and talk real greasy to them because this is too many people skipping Andrew right now and. uh Hands are ready to go, you know. I'm just saying, I'm just, go out there. I'm out there. I'm out to train the sand coordinator today. Just a a a. You know, when you see Andrew truck, when you see Andrew truck, you know, uh, after two hours, Andrew truck need to be gone. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm about to go out there and, and train all uh, the sand coordinators. All I'm saying. Anyways, uh. Looking for me uh, a running mate, somebody who can uh, run with Andrew, keep Andrew woke, keep Andrew running, and uh, help Andrew get this money. As y'all know, my last company I ran with uh, two other guys, the Swift guy and the owner operator. We pretty much ran together for a couple of months at that company. You know, uh, we made a decent amount of money. They made more than me because they didn't have no truck issues. Andrew, I was broke down every other day. So, they always got more lows on their paycheck than me, because when Andrew broke down, it was always catastrophic. So, you know. But uh, right now, we all we all gone from that company. Um, like I said, Halliburton did some something funny. The company went to Sandbox, and we all left. You know, we all left, because that's not what we... We didn't come out to the oil field to work for free or to work for cheap. We came out here to get as much money as possible, and right now Pneumatic is paying more, way more than Sandbots, you know. So that's what we do now. You know, now unfortunately we didn't all, you know, get to go in the same company. Um, we all pick different companies, and we all hopefully doing better than the other person, right? Or, or better all together. So we call the fuck you money, hey? Want a job? Oh, you do? You want to come back to the oil field? Okay, okay, put your application in. I hit up the suit and tie guys, tell them to review it, and uh, we'll get you hired. So that's where we at right now. Uh, technically, we out of trucks. So the suit and tie guys tell them to call back Wednesday because they're trying to order trucks from the dealership. But the dealership, uh, I don't know if they got a waiting list or what's going on up there. And, uh, I don't know if they get it from Peterbilt or Kenworth, but they just buy brand new trucks straight from the dealership. You know, uh, They don't come with governors or cameras and buzzards and alarms and all this horse crap that the mega carriers got. No, they come 
they come just how they made it from the factory. You know, the factory don't put all that crap on the truck. That, none of that unsafe stuff. It's nothing unsafe on our trucks. The truck don't break on its own. The truck don't make noise on its own. The truck, it don't do none of that weird stuff, okay? You know. Um, so we hit up fucking money and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully they have a truck available for them. If so, I don't know if he gonna fly, if he gonna drive down here. Orientation is on Monday. And, uh, we'll be running together, you know. Uh, if everything goes well, we're gonna make a whole lot of money together, you know. Uh, we're gonna be doing YouTube videos. I'm actually looking at cameras right now. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm actually looking at cameras. I'm looking at the Panasonic GH5. It's only uh, it's only uh, two thousand dollars. So, trying to upgrade the cameras. Y'all know my GoPro and all my equipment is gone. It was in that last company truck. It's all gone. All I got is my cell phone now. So that's why y'all ain't seeing no vlogs and nothing like that. All the camera equipment gone. Got to buy some more. Time for upgrade anyway. You know. Time for upgrades, so anyways, I just thought I'd let y'all know how my day going, and uh, guess I'll talk to y'all in the next video.